The time's now 5.08 a.m. here on your Thursday morning. Our morning reporter TJ Anthony is going to be live tomorrow morning mm -hmm. to kick off coverage. And Alex, I haven't asked you, what food are you most looking forward to? Well, so I, looking at the lollipop story, they were down there last year and the mm -hmm. lollipops were really good. Ah. So I had forgot that those were there. And I think those, because yeah. they're, they're really big and mm -hmm. I, they have like a piece of dried fruit inside oh, of wow. them. All of their lollipops That's do. different. So, I like yeah, that. Yeah, I'm excited for those. Hey, it's a cool start to this morning down in Perry. Check this out. Here's a live look over the fairgrounds. The current temperature has fallen even more now down to 43 in Perry. So we are only three degrees away, really four degrees away from the 30s this morning down in Houston County. Our average low for any given October 6 is 58. So yeah, we are way below average 45 in Macon right now, as well as in Byron 43 and Fort Valley 48 and where Warner Robins 46 in Jeffersonville, as well as in Dublin this morning and 44 in Montezuma down towards the south, a little closer to 50 47 in Cordell and Rochelle this morning, 46 in McRae elsewhere across the state in the 30s this morning up in Blairsville 45 in Rome and get over into Alabama running into some more 50s. The radar picture as expected quiet across central Georgia and really quiet for the most part across the southeast. We've got high pressure not too far away to the north, but notice a front taking shape as we look on the other side of the Mississippi River here. This is going to be the front that's sliding towards central Georgia as we head into the, about the next 48 hours or so. Not going to bring any rainfall with it, but you are going to notice an increase in cloud cover and maybe a little bit of wind. Here we go into the day today. These 40s and turning into 70s there by the noon hour. In fact, closer to 80 by the noon hour. 77 the number there. Then once we get past the afternoon, we'll be talking about uh, temperatures rising into the 80s, the mid 80s, even in a a few spots into tomorrow morning. How about 40s once again in a few spots? A lot of 50s still on the map though, and then into Friday afternoon and evening. A perfect afternoon here in central Georgia. Average high is now 82 for this time of year. So in the ballpark of that, just a few clouds around. Once we get into Friday night on into Saturday, notice this increase in cloud cover. This is going to be the front sliding on through, even though it's not bringing rainfall with it. That does mean once we get to about Saturday afternoon or so, we're not going to be quite as warm here in central Georgia. Then into next week, I'm looking for rain because we could use the rain here in central Georgia and I'm not having any luck finding any because we look this into Monday on into Tuesday. No organized weather system making its way towards central Georgia. We have are in a deficit of rainfall over the past month or so. We really could use it as our ground is now very dry. The cold front also not going to bring it only bringing the drop in temperatures 86 there on Friday down to 82 on Saturday back to 80 itself there on Sunday. Let's talk about the tropics this morning. We are still watching this mess down in the Caribbean. It does have a 90% chance of development in the next five days, but notice it's moving almost due west there. There's high pressure to the north, so we are not concerned about that for the United States and we still have tropical depression 12. Also not concerned about this. Watch this cone here. It just kind of peters out over the Atlantic and not going to be a concern for us. So here's your school bus forecast for the day ahead. 50s this morning and turns up into the 80s as we head into the afternoon hours. 83 is what I'm going with for the high temperature. And here comes your seven day forecast. 86 there for Friday on into the weekend. A bit cooler as the front slides on through, but for the most part close to 80 each and every day.